Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. If you guys do not mind, please leave a comment below. Let us know how we're doing with our tutorials. All right, so let's jump into it. We're going to look at uh, list comparisons today. Basically, are the list uh, the same list or are they a different list? So we're going to use comparison operators. So let's get started. First one we're going to look at is equal to. All right, so we're going to create a list. A is going to represent that list, and this list is going to have one, two, three, and four in it. And we're going to create another list. B will represent that list, one, two, three, and four in that list. Now we're going to check to see if they're the same list. So we'll do A is equal, equal to, so the equal to operator, which is the two equal signs here, B. Hit return, and we get true. All right, let's try another one. Let's do uh, C is equal to, and then square brackets, and we'll do four, three, two, one, square brackets. Now, in theory, looking at that, you'd be like, hey, they're the same list, they're just not or organized, you know, in the specific order. Well, when we're comparing lists, they have to be in the same sequence, so they gotta be one and one like this, two and two, three and three, four and four. They also have to have the same exact objects for it to return true. So if I do A is equal to C, I get false. So that's the equal to on list in Python. How about the not equal to? So basically we're going to say, hey, is this string not equal to? So we'll do, um, let's just bring up A again, B again, so we can see what we're working with here. All right, so let's see if A is not equal to B. So we'll do A and then the not equal to operator, which is an exclamation point equal sign, and we'll say B. It's false because they are equal to each other. All right. <clears throat> How about with uh, C? So we'll bring up C again. So I'll not type this out. And we'll do A is not equal. Oops, not equal to C. And we get true because they are not equal to each other. Notice the sequence is wrong. All right. But they do have the same objects. All right. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is the greater than comparison. So I'm going to clear my screen. And basically we're going to see if one list is greater than the other list, all right? And basically, when you're working with numbers in lists, the um, comparison is going to be the sum of all numbers in the list. Now, if you're working with strings, then it's going to be based off the first strings alphabetical order, if you will. So we'll take a look at it so you better understand it. So A is equal to, and I'm just going to make a list with one object in it, and then we'll do B is equal to another list with one object in it. And we'll go ahead and say A is greater than B. All right. There you go. Four is greater than three. All right. So it returns true. Let's take a look at another example. A is equal to, and we're going to put two numbers in here, two and two. All right. Now let's do B is equal to, and we'll put three numbers in here. One, whoop. Let me assign this. And square bracket one, one, and one. All right. And let's just think about what this sum of these numbers are. We got two and two is four, and three, or three ones would be three, right? So let's see if A is greater than, sorry, fat fingers, B, like that. True. All right. Um, how about if we try to compare a a uh, list that can contains new uh, numbers like floats or integers with a list that contains strings. What would happen? Let's do uh, C is equal to uh, dog. All right, we'll just put one in there. And we'll do A is greater than C. We get uh, the greater than uh, operator is not supported between the instances of int and string. They have to be the same type. But we can do... Um, Let's do uh, D is equal to, and we'll put in in the list here, 10, or no, 20.5, float, point number. So we'll do A is greater than D, false, because A is only 4, and D is 20.5, so we get false, all right? So that is the greater than. Now let's take a look at the less than operator on list. Let's do a is equal to a list that contains one. Let's do B is equal to a list that contains four. And let's go ahead and compare them. A is less than B. True. All right. 
Um, how about another example? Let's do A is representing a list of numbers, one, two, three, and four. So the sum of that would be, what's that, six, 10. Um, and then let's do B is gonna represent a list of one, two, and three, and close out of square brackets, and we say A is less than B, and we get false because a sum is 10 and B sum is six. All right, uh, let's take a look at an example of strings. Let's say A is equal to um, dog, all right? And square brackets, and then we'll say B is representing a list that has ape in it, all right? Square brackets, and then we're gonna say A is less than B, we get false. All right, how about B is less than A? We get true. So now we just flipped it around. All right, so B is lower in the alphabetical order than A, all right? Uh, let's look at greater than equal to list comparison. And basically it's like the same thing as the greater to or the equal to um, comparison. So we'll just do it. A is going to represent a list, and we're going to say 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the square brackets, and then B is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4, square brackets, and we'll say A is greater than or equal to B. We got true, right? Um, how about if we do C is going to represent a list of numbers 1, 2, and 3, square brackets and we're going to say a is greater than or equal to b and we get true um, how about c is greater than equal to b and we get false because the sum of these numbers is less than the sum of these numbers All right. how about the less than equal to um let's just flip this around i'm not going to write it out anymore let's just do a is uh less than or equal to b true all right, so A is equal to B. How about A is less than or equal to C? False, because A sum is 10 and C sum is six, so we get false. Um, so that's the less than operator. All right, so we covered the, the equal to, the not equal to, the greater than, the less than, the um, greater to or equal to, or <laughs> Uh, greater or equal to or less than equal to now let's go ahead and take a look at the is operators now this one's important because a lot of people get hung up on this so let's go ahead and create a list a is equal to square brackets one two three and four square brackets and we'll do b is equal to square brackets one two three and four all right so we got two lists they look pretty damn similar right um, if you ask me, are they the same list? I'd probably say yes, but we're going to use the is operator on this um, comparison here. And what the is operator does is it checks if it's the same exact object in memory. Basically, does it have the same ID in memory? And that's what it's checking on. So if I do A is B, I'm going to get false because these two are not the same exact object technically they look exactly the same they're in the same sequence same objects and they're in a list but they're not the same memory to prove that we'll do id a is some number we'll do id b is some number and if you notice the last two numbers here or the last number i should say is different from the top one so that's why we got false now <clears throat> Uh, how how would we make them the same? We can do a is equal to b, and then we can do id, or we can do a is b. It's true. Then we do id a and id b. They're the same thing. These two numbers are the same. So that's how that's how that all works. So you guys understand that. How about the is not operator? Same same theory. All right. So we have. A and B, and then we say A is not B. True, because they're not. They don't have the same ID in memory. If I do, uh, we already saw the ID. So if I do A is equal to B, and then I do A is not 
B, we're going to get false because now they're the same. ID A, ID B. There you go. The same exact ID now. So if you guys have any questions about um, comparison of a list in Python, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a lovely day.